Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are returning to the world of Evil Nun, The Broken Mask. There's been a brand new update for this game where we get to explore a new area of the school and actually, like, uh, get one piece of this broken mask we're trying to reassemble. This is the first major update to drop for the game. It gives us access to the laundry area, apparently to the gym, and lets us build an explosive doll to defeat the nun. I believe there's also a second nun included in the game, Nurse Philippa now, or Nun Philippa I should say, uh, who will be stalking us through the game, who's the sort of other nun we saw in the original part one of this game. So yeah, this seems quite exciting guys. We're gonna dive back in today. We're gonna see what this update's all about and experience it here on the channel. So sit back, relax, and let's dive back into the world of Evil Nun, The Broken Mask. So here we go, we're returning, of course, to the summer camp. And yeah, this is going to be interesting guys, like it starts exactly the same as far as I can tell. But I think this is a game where like the differences become apparent once we go back into it. So obviously like we'll start off the same as always. We've got this very Christmassy music of course. And I think this is Nun Philippa driving us at the moment. Like I think that's who that is. And we're apparently going to be able to meet her in this uh, new DLC update. She's actually in the game now. So here we are, we've arrived at our destination, so I think it starts the same, but it changes, like I said, as we go through it. Uh, so for now, we'll just play through it. Whoa, easy. Yeah, we'll just play through it as normal. We have this guy with a paint all over him. He leaves us the secret messages around the school, of course. And there is Sister Madeline, the evil nun, the antagonist of the game. So it looks like we're back in. Now let's see how this unfolds. So yeah, we've got the usual little message on the chalkboard. Ooh, but we have got a handprint now on the actual chalkboard with a note. Don't be afraid, there is a way to escape from here. Before you, many more children were tricked into coming to this summer camp. Now I can help you if you follow my advice to the end. So use my blue handprints all over the school as a guide. And then we've got a quest log. Yeah, and we've got new objectives, look. Reach for laundry. Use the new ramp I made for you in the statue garden to enter the parking. Continue and you will find the laundry. Be careful with Philippa. Okay, so that's the other nurse or nun. Why do I keep calling them nurses? Stained clothes. I think this is the order we have to do it in. So stained clothes is our new objective number two. Uh, there is a chest full of uniforms in the van. Make Philippa unlock the chest by finding a paint pot and then stain the uniforms. So we get to the laundry. We find a paint pot, get her to unlock the chest, and stain the uniforms. Van escape, that's our third objective. Without being seen by Philippa, find a way to make her drive the van with yourself inside the chest. Oh, hidden inside the chest, yeah. Okay, so we have to escape in the van. I don't know if this is for like the brand new ending or not. We've got some mysterious device here that's still closed, nothing happens, hmm. So I guess we just get started then. I guess the first thing to do is do the fuse puzzle again. So where was the fuse puzzle? I can hear her humming already. Oh, the stairs are just here. Let's go up the stairs. There was a fuse, I'm sure, in here before. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Here we go. Stop breaking my school! I'm not breaking it, you nah. freak! Get out! I am trying. I'm trying to leave. Let me leave. All right, here we go. Undo the hinges. Fuse in. All right, we've unlocked it, guys. That's one task down. Where was the exit? Go, 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 go! Run, run, run! Open. Open! Go, go, go! She's after us! Oh my god, look, she's coming! Screw this! Alright, guys, we gotta go. We gotta find a way into the laundry somehow. But for now, I'm just gonna go to the other side, go to the school. It's where I know to go from our part one. I know that we have to go this way and travel to the school. So let's go in here. Let's hope we can hide somewhere. I don't know where to go. Wait a second, I've got an idea. The statue garden, this is the statue garden, okay. This is where we need to be. But where is the ramp? 
Oh, here, it's got handprint. Yeah, this leads into the car park. So here we go, this is the ramp. So we're now in the new area. Look at this. Yeah. Okay, we made it. We hurt ourselves though, getting here. And is this the laundry? This looks like it could be the laundry. Interact. Look, we can climb through. Nice. Sweet. So now we just check the drawers. <laughs> we need to find paint now. Oh, wait, there's... <gasps> Look at this. This is Nurse Philippa. Oh, my God. Is she going to wake up? <sighs> She's woke up, guys. She has woken up. Oh, we shortcutted. We created a shortcut. So I'm going to go this way. We're going to go back into the laundry. We're going to sneak. I can actually hear crying coming from down there. There's locks. <gasps> there's locks on here. We could open these and save the children. I think there's children trapped in here, right? Oh, my God. I hear children inside, but it's locked. Okay, hide. One thing I'll say about this game is the environments are insanely good looking. Like the lighting and just how they are. It's really impressive. Oh, we've got another note. Look. Have you heard the lost children Was cry? The rat? What the heck? How just... The only thing that I don't like about this game... I just gave it a compliment. Amazing visuals. Amazing like atmosphere. But they have boosted the AI to the point where it instantly knows where you are. Oh, the van just drove off. Oh, she's crawling through there now. Okay, goodbye then. All right, I think she's gone finally. Sister Madeline, Sister. Oh my God, she she was scared, and she dropped the clothes basket. So wait a second, I made her drop the clothes basket. She called for her sister. She didn't seem like she wanted to interact with us. So obviously, Sister Philippa doesn't try and get us. She'll just be scared of us. So now we have the clothes basket. Maybe we can just stain it with the paint. And she would go and try and wash it and we get into a van or something. Where's the paint? The bell will ring when the laundry elevator brings up clothes. If you take dirty clothes back to the laundry, it will take a lot, we, at least one week to clean them. Wow. Wait a second. Can I not just, like... Get on the van. Look, she's bringing more clothes in. Wait, let me just see if I can go and hide on the back. Clothes basket is locked. Okay. We can't get on the van at the moment. She takes the clothes. She brings them in. But only Sister Philippa could open that, so yeah, that's why we need to stain the clothes. Oh my god. No! Ugh! What are you doing? Don't run away! Don't run away! No! Why? Where is she going? Oh my god, you almost ran me over. So wait, she drives this way. Can we not go this way then? Oh no, the, the gate is locked again. But maybe we could wait here, right? I wonder if this works. If we wait here till the gate opens and then we just leave? Would that work? Oh. Look. Guys, there's a secret here. So wait, if we get the crowbar, if we get the crowbar, we could actually leave through here anyway. Look, that's opening. Okay. Let me see if I can go through. No! Oh, they block it. That's clever. See, you can't leave through the gate by, like, sneakily kind of waiting. She's very good at driving because she can instantly, like, just park up so there's like an inch between the gate and the van. 
Oh my god, now I'm gonna get like run down by this complete freak. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Haha. <laughs> Alright, this opens up. Yep, cool. The rats are better behaved than you. Do not run! I'll run if I like. So what we're gonna do, guys, is get the crowbar. I actually wanna try out this little experiment because we found the um we found the boards near the escape gate so i want to see if we can go through those oh super horror bro on this door but it's locked we've got to get inside that oh my god no the game tricked us the game tricked us by making me look you at my at my again. room i want to know what's in the super horror bro room what could be in there? The videos that I never released? <laughs> the handful of videos I made and never released in the past? I don't know. I want to know, though. I want to find the answers. It says we need to make her unlock the chest by finding a paint pot. I feel like the paint pot could be in, like, maybe art class. I know you're nearby. Yeah, yeah, I know you know. I know you know I'm nearby. Oh, my God. Okay, hide. Hide. Here's the broom anyway. This is what we wanted. So we have found the broom. This is also, I believe, the art class. So is this where we get the paint pot as well? That's what I want to know. I feel like maybe we need to get into here to get the paint pot. Like through this door, I'm not sure. Sweet. Okay, we've got the crowbar finally. Okay, so now we're going to backtrack all the way up here. And finally see what's behind these boards and I feel like this might give us a new ending there we go oh she's coming back yeah look there's the van she doesn't see us hiding in this tall grass though so let's keep going there we go sister Madeline is now unconscious she will wake up in 30 seconds okay um, I don't know why she's unconscious. Oh, the key, the key, the key. So garden back door key. Now where is the garden back door key used? Like where do we use this key? We're in the garden, garden back door key. Is it maybe used around here? There's got to be somewhere we can use this key, right? Otherwise, why did we pick it up? <laughs> what is it used for? I want to know. Oh, here maybe. Here, guys. I don't know. Yeah, we used the key to unlock the door. Okay. And now we go up here. Oh, God. I think you have to jump that last bit. Let's have a look. Yep. No. Eh? Oh, guys. I think... Maybe what we do here, we jump on top of a van to escape. But I think we need to put something here to cross. Like, I don't know if it's like a plank of wood or something. But it seems like we need something because we can't just cross that. Let's go back to the school, guys, and see if we can find anything uh, that we can use for that. <gasps> guys, there's a key here. There's a key literally in the office where we started in. I didn't even see it. It was just laying on the ground. And it says art class. Ah, guys, we know now. We oh, sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you. Yeah, we know, though, don't we, that the art class had that cupboard that I said we could probably get the paint from. So now if we just go back to that, I bet we get the paint. We can find a way to stain the clothes. And then, of course, we can uh, escape, hopefully. I don't know how we get, like, the escape on top of the van, but, eh, never mind. So here was the art class, so open this, oh, hello, there we go, ah, and here is the paint, fine colour acrylic, nice, glossy paint. So now what we need to do is go all the way back again and hopefully find a way to uh, stain the clothes and escape. There she goes, there she goes, there she goes. Hey, we did it. Paint stained uniforms. Okay, so she should come back out now. 
Let's see what she does. Mm -hmm. Philippa unlocked the chest. Ooh. All right. Let's get in. Guys, we're going to escape. This is the escape ending. We've done it. After all this trial and error, finally. Look, Philippa is going to take us out. Hey, we get a good look at her as well. And there's Madeline as well. This was kind of fun, actually, working all this out. Look, she's gone to sleep now. I don't get this. Oh, I know. I know what we must have to do. Um, there's a bell somewhere, right? Hey, it did it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Run, run, run. Okay, so Philip is waking up. Now, this time it should work, guys, because we've actually rung the bell. Fingers crossed. Mission logs updated. Hey, she shut the doors. Yeah, we've done it. It's all crossed off. I think she's taking us out now. So we finally unlocked the van escape ending. Now, this isn't actually what the update fully entails, guys. The update fully entails a new ending where we have to uh, make a doll that's in, like an explosive doll or something. I think I'm going to probably do that in a separate video at this point because we've just got a new ending. If you look around, look, we're actually going out in the van and escaping, which is pretty cool. So we met Sister Philippa in this video, the new nun. We saw more of the school because we went to the laundry and the back garden, which we hadn't previously visited. And now we're actually escaping in the van, as you can see, which is pretty awesome. I don't actually know uh, if this is going to turn out well for us, but it seems like so far so good. Hey, They never even knew. In the original ending, of course, we just ran, set off all the alarms, and it was a whole kerfuffle. But here, we're just like driving out stealthily. It's kind of like Metal Gear Solid, you know, when you get in the back of the Jeeps, you're hidden in the boxes, and they don't know. And look at that, this is awesome. We're going up the uh, road. While I do have like problems with this game um, in how it's designed, I think the visuals and the atmosphere are really good. Look at this. Oh wait, who's this? Oh, that's the guy, Pegleg. <laughs> well, that's what I'm calling him. That's the Pegleg guy who's been putting up the messages and he's, wait, is he opening something? Was that a new way we can now explore in the school? Yeah, he's opened up multiple new, um, new things. Wait, what's he doing? Oh, he's entering a code. No way, he's opened it up for us. Oh, this is cool. So he's actually opened that up now. We got the simple van escape. Crashed Madeline. Wait, we got the van to run over Madeline? Oh, that's when she was knocked out for 30 seconds. It's because of a van hit her. That's amazing. Tricky escape, escape on top of a van. Now that's one we nearly unlocked. I don't understand how we actually achieve it. Silent escape in the van, escape without being seen. Oh, these are like variants on the main ending, okay. So I don't think they give you a different ending. They just give you like a little accolade. Um, we got the simple van escape. We haven't got the tricky van escape yet. So yeah, I think we've unlocked two of the three possible endings so far. Let's just quickly go back into the game and let's see if that door's now unlocked. It's opened, yes, look. Hey, we're actually in. So we can leave this room. Oh, I never even noticed that before. That's disgusting. Okay, let's go. Let's have a look. We need a flashlight down here. This is cool. This is like a whole cave system. Man, this is nuts. Wow, wait, what is this? We've got like a podium. A bunker, it's called. According to the Steam achievement I just got. Yeah, it is a podium. Okay, we're, we're, this is a bunker though, apparently. And then we've got... Mysterious picture. Why is it spelt wrong though? Mysterious is spelt with a Y, right? I don't know why they spell it wrong. Picture is empty, so we need to hang stuff in all of these pictures around the room. 
Hey, what's this? Leave game and travel to making of area. Oh, so this is like a, an extra thing. Like a perk. And we've got a magic cup. Do we put it on here? Close and lock the bunker to be safe first. Oh, okay. There we go. Ah, we have to lock this. I get it. So now we're secure. We're safe and we can experiment. We've got this goblet of like weird liquid. I guess it's like pure water or something. Holy water. So if we put that there, what what like what happens now? Ooh, man, this is so weird. I did not expect all of this. What is happening? We've got one picture. Okay. And now, do we get something out of here? Yeah, we get a key. Oh, explosions in the heights. This is the expansion. So it actually makes sense now, guys. So what's happening here is we're essentially getting keys for each of the DLCs by delivering a goblet to this room. It also gives us more lore in the form of these pictures. And now we get a key to explore that secret area that was previously locked. Let's look at this picture anyway. I thought I was going to a summer camp. I've been here for many days. I do not know if my parents knew they were bringing me here or that they were part of this rare story. Now it does not matter much anymore. Although I miss them, father, mother, the evil nun is now my only family. She does what she can, but she does not know what love is. Not since the misfortune happened. What the heck? What do you mean the misfortune? What happened? Okay, so from this picture then, guys, we're going to travel back upstairs. We're going to open this back up. Here we go. Security lock open. Secret door open. And now, I think what we need to do is head out of here. And we need to find the stairs and head upstairs, right? Here's the stairs. So straight up the stairs. Like this. Now, I don't know if we're going to have to do that fuse puzzle again or if it's automatically just opened up. Oh my god. Are May you kidding the Lord, me? The Lord fall on you. Come here. No. There's no electricity. No, we have to do it. We have to do it in parts. Stop breaking oh, there it is. my school. Oh my god. How many times do I have to hit you with All right, my guys. Hammer? So, we're going to have to drop the key. I'm going to try and drop the key somewhere that makes sense, like here. You know, actually near the gate. We know where the fuse is now. We just got to cycle back to it. I think it was in here. Yeah, here's the fuse. Okay, so we have the fuse. All right, this is where we need to be, guys. We need to open this. As always, pop that fuse in. Turn the lever. And now we can sneak to the exit again. We found the exit. Where's the key? It's here. Pick that up. Open this gate. That brings her to us. She automatically seems to spawn um, when we go through here. So what we're going to do, guys, is quickly go through here and open this. We used the key. Nice. Now let's hide. She'll come through. We've actually got a message on the locker outside of this. So this is a new area of the school now, which we haven't previously been to. And we now get to explore this, which is pretty awesome. I'm going to get out, guys. Hopefully, she's uh, she's gone. Right, let's read this note. Oh, my God. You are a brave child, but I need to see if you're the one to help me end the reign of the evil nun. Get several pieces of a mask and let's save the kids from the laundry together. Sounds good. All right, so we've got a new quest log. Find three special objects. In the main school building, you will need something hidden in the classroom 3A and 6A and something locked in the gym. Huh. Then we have to craft the explosive doll. Bring the crafting recipe near this note and the three components to a new place I uncovered for you in the garden. Which we saw him do, didn't we, at the end of the last uh, part, guys. And then finally, we have remote detonation. Hide and use the doll to get the mask piece in the heights of the basketball court. Then bring it to the bunker. Alright, that sounds kind of confusing, but we'll give it our best shot, right? Explosive doll crafting recipe. Ah, okay. So, where do we take this? He said in the garden. 
Oh, it's here, look. The device is like right here already. Um, so new recipe available to craft. But I don't think we can craft anything yet, right? I think we have to go and like maybe get the others sorted first. So let's go to the school and let's find classrooms 3 and 6A. And we should find some more of those recipes there. The final one is in the gym, which we haven't yet explored, but we will. And look, we've actually got new messages here as well. Oh, 3A, yeah, this is what we want. He's actually marked it for us. Okay, so where is the crafting recipe? Crafting recipe is probably hidden somewhere really uh, annoying. Oh, we need to put a book on there and it gives us the crafting recipe, I bet, right? Maybe we have to go to the gym first. That's kind of my first thought is like, maybe we go to the gym. So let's go through this door to the gym. Hey, look at this. This is impressive. Eagle Junior High School. So this is the gym. This looks pretty awesome. Uh, I guess we need to fix this. Well, maybe not. Maybe we have to collect that item. I'm not sure. Wait, is that the plank of wood we need to escape? Fear no, there's something on top of it. I am with you. Okay. Not dismayed, for I have many thoughts God. going through my head right now, as you can probably tell. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. You haven't got a righteous hand. You've got a horrible, craggly old hand. Oh, my God. Oh, what's that? We've got an item there. The grandfather clock handle. Ah, oh, okay. Wait, there is a grandfather clock. Somewhere. I don't remember where. It's like, it's in one of the original buildings. So what I'm going to try and do, guys, is actually head back. We might also need that item as well. That could be for the other room. But I remember seeing a clock before. Oh, We've also got a book there. Huh. Maybe we need to find the right book for that room in Classroom 3A, you know? Uh, but for now, what I'm going to actually do is take this to um, 6A, because I think that's where the grandfather clock is. Here we go. This is 6A. Here's the clock. A. Hey. Grandfather clock mechanism. The mechanism made a lot of noise. Okay, hide. Please say you're not going to get us now. I mean, we're pretty hidden right behind this sofa. What we'll do, guys, I think this is the mechanism for the explosive doll we're making. So I think we fit that mechanism as one of the parts for the uh, for doll. And um, it gives us an ingredient, essentially. That's my assumption, anyway. She seems to have gone. So I'm going to take this mechanism back. And I'm going to see if it works. Do you Ooh. think you're behaving like a good child? Um, yes. Can I say yes? Go this way. That was a close escape. That was a close escape. I think we need to make our way through laundry to get back, which is fine. Just go through this window here. Interact. Nice, 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 nice. All right, we should be good. And then... Yeah, don't worry. Just run off. I can't remember the way out. I think it's this way, right? Please say you're not coming this way. Okay, guys. I'm going to try and fit this mechanism into uh, the device here. There we go. That's in there. Oh, yeah, we can start to craft now. Unfortunately, we've got Sister Madeline right there. Oh, she didn't see us. Okay, that's good. I guess back to the gym then. You forgot something. Come here for a minute. Hell no, I'm not coming anywhere with you. Now look at this. Guys, we're in the gym. We need to make our way across this somehow though. Oh, yeah, we can't do that. Oh my god, she's up there. Alright, chill. Oh, she's coming down. Do you want to play basketball? No. Nope. Let's use your head like a ball. Yeah, that's what I assumed you'd want to do. Have a book. Have another book. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Have another book. Alright, guys. 
This is bad. I think we need to find the right book. But I don't know how. So I'm going to shut these. Oh my god. Hide. Hide. Ah. I feel like she's seen me go in here, but maybe not. At least we threw some books at her. Man, she's, I bet she stinks as well. I bet she like smells terrible. And we're just hidden in the locker next to her. I need to find the book. We need the book for the other classroom. Is she coming back? I don't know. Anyway, let's have a little explore here. I don't think it's any of these books. Because mm -hmm. all these books are the same. We need to find the right book. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's this way instead. There's a locker room here. Gym locker. Let's check all the gym lockers. Oh my god, she's come in. Oh, there's the book. Hide. Hide. Shut Why have I presented you with my hammer? No, run, 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 run. Guys, I think we found the right book in there. But unfortunately, this douchey nun is chasing me again. So I'm going to cut to when I actually get the book. But at least you've seen me find it now. It looked like that was a different kind of book to the others. It had like some kind of marking on the front cover. Right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I'm also going to have another check in this room. A furrow sweep. See if there's anything we've missed. Well, we're sitting here. What's that? Super fan locker code. 18626. Okay. Maybe there's another locker room over here. Oh, we've just come back out here. Oh, this must be a locker room we can use the code in. Yeah, look, super fan locker. So we can leave the locker there. Hey, that's the doll. Okay. So we've actually got the doll we need. So now all we need to do is take the doll back to the crafting station and then we come back get the book and that should give us the last item. I don't know how we get up there though. I kind of want to know. But let's put the doll in the lift with the other stuff. This is showing us what we need actually, look. Something to wind it which we got. The doll and the dynamite. So the final thing we need is the dynamite. I reckon the book gives us the dynamite. Because uh, that key had, um, sorry, that picture had a key, a doll, and a, a stack of dynamite. So that's obviously the final thing we need, which should be in here somewhere. There we go, the definitive Bible. <laughs> I don't know if there is a definitive Bible, but in this game there is. So we're going to take this definitive Bible and we're going to put it in the room, I think with the little plinth of the book, right? Here we go. Let's see if this works. It does. It opens the underneath part. Something unlocked near my feet. Yep. Oh, dynamite. There we go. So we've got dynamite now. So now all we need to do is head on back from whence we came, which is this way. Here we go. Pop that in there. And let's send it down. We'll craft it. This should give us the explosive doll, but let's see. Need to keep an eye out for the evil nun. It's doing something. Here we go. Something went up in the crafting elevator, the explosive doll. Nice. Okay. So we've now got one explosive doll. Mission log updates. Hide and use the doll to get the mask piece in the heights of the basement court. Oh, sorry, basketball court, not basement court. What am I saying? At this point, I've lost my mind. Okay. So we need to hide. Is there a hiding spot up here? Hmm. I think we need to find somewhere else we can use this. There's no hiding spot there. I haven't been down here, though, yet. Let's have a little look. Ah, yeah, look, we can walk it across here and through the gap. But we need to be hidden, it says, so where do we hide? We need to get to there. I guess we hide in here? Activate doll. Ah, okay, yeah, look. Oh, this is kind of cool. We have to, like, control the little doll. So just walk it up here. We explode it with E. But we do have to be careful because we can fall down if we're not careful. Ah. 
Man, this is tricky. Oh, okay. And now we turn around and we go up here. Okay, wow, this is hard. Explode. All right, I think we've done it. The mask piece fell. That's actually tricky. I didn't realize that was going to be so hard. <laughs> Man, okay. So we just head down now and we get the mask piece, yeah? Oh, she's looking. Okay, I'm going to hide. Are you coming back? No, she teleported. All right, let's just sneak. Let's just sneak. Oh, God. Does she see us? Doesn't seem like she sees us right now. She's walking, she's walking, she's walking. Let's go for the mask. Here it is. Mask piece. Nice. Please don't see us. I think Where she's seen us. She going? has definitely seen us, 100%. Okay. I don't know what we do with a mask piece. Oh, the door is locked. Fantastic. Fantastic. I need somewhere to hide. But we at least we have a mask piece now. So where do we go with the mask? Do we take it to a secret room? Is that where we're meant to go now? Back to our secret little room. Let's um, lock this. There we go. It's all locked. We should be safe. Let's head on down. We need to put the mask piece, I believe, in this room. Oh, it's here. We put it in this, this podium here, look. So we've completed one part of it now. That's chapter one that's completed, I believe. Why did that fly away? That's gone somewhere else in the, in the school now. I think probably that's it, guys. Because I don't believe the second piece of a mask has been released yet. So I think for now that will be everything we can do. So there we go guys. Chapter Explosions in the Heights. We got that for the first piece of a mask of course. But either way, uh, that was a fun little play for you guys. So this has been the DLC for Evil and a Broken Mask. And um, yeah, we checked out of course the van escape ending and then we built the doll and did the explosive doll ending as well. So yeah, quite a fun little video today. Probably quite a long one actually. I'm enjoying this game. I'll definitely follow it as the updates roll out and we'll continue to make a video each time there is a new update available. With that said, if you did enjoy the video today, remember to leave a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you all on the next one.